All right, so welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the hardest career series. Today's episode, we are going to be crashing a probe on the surface of the Moon. It's heading to. Uh... Okay, so we've got crash a probe on the Moon on their target. So it's actually got to be specifically on a target. So it's be inside Zone Eight Dash K Three, wherever that is. Has to be within 250 meters per second and five kilometers a second on speed. I'll shoot between zero meters and 75,000 meters. I don't understand that a little bit confusing. We've got 14,384 advance, 46,812 plus eight size and 20 reputation, but we lose 47,000. Not too bad a penalty that. Go ahead and take it. That's a little bit sort of strange, it just popped up as well. Perform an unmanned Klein flyby mission. I've been in the R&D and in the tracking station. I can't find anybody called Klein. I don't know. I don't know what it's about. But never mind. We shall figure it out at some point, no doubt. Okay, so this is just basically another repeat of the intercept mission in the previous episode. However, this time, that thruster on the spacecraft is going to do a job. It's going to, uh, well, it's going to basically track the target zone first and then impact my body find the uh, the trajectory. Okay, we're heading to the VAB. Check the spacecraft over. We're going to uh, begin this mission. Okay, so this is basically the exact same spacecraft as we used before. It's no different. For those of you who haven't seen the previous episode, this is the Monar 1 class probe. Reaction wheel, we've got five procedural batteries, just purely for backup, not necessarily for power. We've got so four solar panels, photovoltaic panels, four antenna. We have the linear thruster, which is backwards. So we want to point backwards. You want to go forwards, you want to point backwards. You want to go backwards, you want to point forwards, and using this. Tiny little RCS tank embedded into the spacecraft itself, the actual QBE. Very basic probe core. Alright, that is it. We actually have got two of these, I believe. Yep, we've still got two of these on the pad at KSC. So we're going to head straight to the pad. Okay, so I rolled the uh, first spacecraft out. And I waited till dawn. It's quite early on still. So it's like the previous mission, the flyby mission, the previous episode, we have no flight planning. So I'm going to wait until KSC is in approximately the correct location relative to the moon, and then we shall begin the mission. Alright, so that took a little bit longer than I anticipated. It's actually turned to night again. Okay, we're ready. Fallback tower is in fallback position. Full throttle, SS is on. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. One. Only forgot about that one. No, 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 not that. That. Thank you. Nearly. Okay, as always, five between five and six kilometers will begin the uh, gravity turn. Alright, so the uh, first stage is gone. About 80 kilometres before the first stage actually cut out. Okay, it's got to keep burning. Keep the apparatus as close as possible, not go past it as always. And then estimating where to actually stop burning. So we're going to stop burning a little bit past the orbit of the moon this time. Unlike the previous episode. I had to do a second burn, didn't I? Okay, almost that. 
the throttle back. Okay, about the. Oh, uh, yes, this is on. Okay. And the first stage has got back again. Excellent. A little bit, a little bit of fuel in there yet. First stage, and you can get that entire stage back. Five thousand one hundred twenty-three. That's about the record. All right, excellent. Okay, leaving curb in orbit, and we're destined for the moon. One point four days to the apoapsis. Not too bad. I'm going to leave the uh, fit, the second stage attached to the spacecraft as always, as before. So I might need the extra delta V. Okay, so there's the target location. So I'm probably going to intercept the uh, Mont anyway by hitting it. Not quite what I want to do, not just yet. Okay, SS on. If let me switch it on. So I try and aim across the Mont. It's as visual as possible. We need to be down here as well, though. Well, we'll try and get this in line first, then we can thrust downwards. Alright. Oh, visual aid. Excellent. Try and get it so we are. Yeah, that's fine. Try and get it so it's visual. So the actual horizon is uh, representative of the uh, what we see, basically. Alright, it's the other way then. Okay, so we're going to here. Let's go across. To be thrusting down slightly as well. Okay, well, Delta V in this final stage of the booster. Well, it's got 30 meters per oh, 27 meters per second actually in the spacecraft itself with that little linear thruster. Let's see what happens here. Oh no, completely wrong. Uh -huh. Yeah, completely wrong. We're just in like that. Yet somehow, how are we? Oh dear me. Alright, so what happens if we do the other way? Okay, what's that look like? Nope, that is the opposite way again. Oh no, it's not, that's fine. There we go. See, so it's rather problematic because we don't have flight planning. I keep saying that. But it is very much a flying blind. Literally. Okay, about. There is obviously never. You can be never. Of a certain distance, but not too far out. So I want to go. Retrograde. That's prograde. Trying to bring that back a little bit. Bring that, took that in just so it's over the uh, target area. So I believe the moon does rotate on its axis, so we might be a bit silly there. 
Yeah, we might uh, I'll leave it about there for now. If it moves, we shall have to try and realign it as we get sort of further towards the uh, the target zone. Okay, about five minutes or so, just over five minutes to impact. It's to just correct a little bit with the linear, linear, the linear thruster. I'll get it right in a second. Okay, that should be on that target. 12 kilometers to go. We should be within tolerance. Five kilometers. Yes, yeah, the ship's on the dark side. Ooh, okay. Contract completed. Alright, so that is the first impact mission successfully completed. Year 2, day 95. Apologies, because there's not much to see there, because it was on the dark side, unfortunately. But sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. So, contract completed. Crash a pub on the month on the target. Future missions will remember this date. Completion 46,812 cash, 8, well, eight sites, 22 reputation. And the world's first. We have initiated the first flyby of the sun. Really? I don't know when that happened. 22,800, one size and two reputation. So that could have been the probe we just was in control of, or it could be the previous probe, the uh, flyby mission. Coincidentally, completed at the same time, strangely. Alright, so that is that. So it's day year two, day 95, completed the first impact mission on the moon. So we'll end our way now. Alright, that's the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click like. It's appreciated. Leave a comment or a question. More than welcome to do so. Don't forget our Discord, Facebook and Twitter. All three platforms. You'll find the links to all three of those platforms on the bottom of the front page of the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. For this series and the series going through right now and in the future. Alright, so that's it in this episode. Thank you for watching. As always, take care. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, bye-bye.